but I, I wish you would have been honest and be like, you know what? You're, you're kind of correct on that. You know what I'm saying? And news organizations should try and strive better to uh, not try to placate on people's fears, on their biases, and, you know, kind of break out of that bubble. All right. So for our next story, now this one here. This is probably, I don't want to say everybody, but folks like me, folks who are nerds when it comes to politics, when it comes to speaking truth to power, and you, you're you putting that position on that pa uh, platform in that interview environment, and you have all the cameras facing you, you have millions upon millions of people watching you on live TV. And when the, the interviewer asks you a question, and you have that moment to tell them exactly what is on your mind. That, at least to me, is my biggest dream right there. You know what I'm saying? And and this dude, Andrew uh, Callahan. Um, Andrew, we're just going to call him Andrew. Um, I, I seen him a few times uh, with his YouTube show. Really funny guy. He he really gets in uh, on the, in the streets with a lot of unstable, crazy people, in my opinion. Um, but he's out there making great content and he was on CNN, which is a, a not like Fox News, but CNN is more, you know, more opening and more kind of welcoming with, you know, different opinions and whatnot. But I do I do not think they were ready to hear what Mr. Andrew had to say. Let's go ahead and take a look. The movie's not just about like the, the Capitol riot and all that. It's also about like media echo chambers, you know what I mean? And like the dangers of the 24-hour uh, news cycle and how I think mainstream media like Fox and even CNN like competes for views by running constant 24-hour news cycles based upon fear, division, outrage, and panic, probably to like sell ads. So it's not just about the capital, right? Mm. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. First of all, I don't agree with what you're saying. But I'm not exactly sure of how that played into people going into the Capitol uh, and rioting on January 6th. He, he wasn't ready. Um, for there's that. nothing fake about CNN. Oh, not, I'm, not, not, I'm not saying like fake news. I'm just saying ramping people up and increasing division during that period of time. Okay, so once again, that was beautiful. That was, and, and he said it, he didn't say it in a way to kind of get, you know, uh, uh, Mr. Don. Lemon, like, you know, outraged and upset. He said it in a calm, collective way to where you can understand what he's saying. But he is one million percent correct. A million percent correct. And this is coming from someone who started off watching CNN. I started off watching CNN and then I kind of gradually got into more independent kind of news coverage. But I don't understand why Don Lemon doesn't either understand or is just lying about it and i think he's 100 percent lying because i'm pretty sure if he wasn't getting that paycheck he would totally agree now let's go ahead and break this down like a fraction listen fox news we have fox news and cnn and uh, other entities kind of pushing more either left or right okay check this out fox news would literally only broadcast let's say uh, a, a riot a protest is happening we all know throughout the day protests more more likely are peaceful uh they're not breaking rules for the most part they're just peacefully protesting fox news doesn't want to show you that fox news want to show you when the lights <laughs> when the street lights turn on and, and the sun goes down they just want to show you the riots they want to show you them throwing things at the police they want to show you uh young black and brown people stealing from walmarts and and and, and targets in all these expensive places burning cars and graffiti and wearing masks and looking really intimidating that's what they want to show you when uh, a police officer shoots an un an unarmed man all fox news want to show you is the 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 criminal history of the deceased person they want to show you all the negative perspectives and in police reports and they just want to show you 
negative things. They want to show you illegal uh, immigrants jumping over the border 24-7 because that fe that puts fear into people. That's all they want to show you. Now, when it comes to CNN, it's the opposite. Instead of showing the realities of what happens during protests, when people are upset, when people are tired of talking, when they're tired of, of peacefully protesting, they're going to riot. And we all know the riot is, 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 is how people who feel like they don't have a voice get heard. And they just want to destroy some stuff. Like, I, I get it. I understand. I don't condone it, but I understand. I can understand why someone would just be fed up with everything. CNN is not going to show you that. And if they do, they try to kind of, you know, sugarcoat it. But they're going to show you the, the peaceful, the peaceful protest, because that's what they're feeding to their audience. They want to just feed you. Uh, nothing bad is happening over here. Everything is good. They're going to show you that when an unarmed person is shot and killed by the police. They're just going to show you the outrage of people. They're going to show you uh, uh, um, other people who don't like the police. They're only going to show you one side of an argument. We know that. That's why we cannot trust mainstream media, because like Andrew said, the money, the money, the money, the money, the ads. Anytime money is, in, is <laughs> involved in anything, I wouldn't really trust it. You know what I'm saying? You better go through everything they're saying with a fine tooth comb 24-7. And, 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 and he says something else uh, that was interesting. They run these segments 24-7, and it's always breaking news, 24-7, they're feeding, they're forcing one-sided conversations. Some I understand, but some of it is one-sided and you can't, you can't have an honest conversation. You can't have an honest dialogue. You can't be honest with yourself if you just have one side of the story. It's always two. And then come up with your conclusion. But of course, Don Lemon, I mean, he's, he's a cool dude. I like him. You know, I used to watch him a lot. But I, I wish you would have been honest and be like, you know what? You're, you're kind of correct on that. You know what I'm saying? And news organizations should try and strive better to uh, not try to placate on people's fears, on their biases, and, you know, kind of break out of that bubble. Something like that. I literally just came up with that. He could have said something more smarter and educated than that. But I think that would have looked better than him just saying, uh, you're wrong. I don't agree with that. It's like, come on, come on. You like, like, be honest. And with honesty, people will see that. And then people can actually trust you. But that's why people don't trust the media, because we see straight through that. So, all right, let's go ahead and go to the next story here. 